guys, it's Bailey. Welcome back to my channel. And for today's video, I am going to be doing a highly requested video. Again, I am going to be doing gymnastics pet peeves. So I'm going to be sharing some of my personal pet peeves and just some common pet peeves that most gymnasts have. Ignore the thunder. You're going to hear it throughout this entire video because it's like super stormy all of a sudden. And I didn't make a smart decision to start filming now because it's probably going to start like raining. So anyway, let's get started. My first pet peeve is when people say gymnastics isn't a sport like why like literally i don't understand when people say that like if if video gaming is considered a sport and all you do is freaking move your controllers and stare at a screen then how is gymnastics not considered a sport like seriously that's this isn't a sport my next pet peeve is when people confuse the skills and think like one skill is the same as other skills like literally when i got my front walkover um, I showed my mom and I was like, I showed her front limber and I was like, okay, now watch this. I'm gonna do a front walkover and she was like, you've done that like a thousand times. And I'm like, they're two separate skills when people think one skill is the same as another skill. Like, oh, why? Like, I literally don't get how that's a new skill. You literally did that same as that skill before. Like, it was legit, like, the exact skill. My next pet peeve is when people do a skill wrong. Now, some people are gonna take this the wrong way and be like, oh my goodness, when someone's learning, of course they're not gonna technically do the skill right. And I completely understand that. I'm not talking about things like that, but when people, like, legitimately start a skill wrong or do a skill wrong, and it's, and it's more of, like, when they do a simple skill wrong, like, it kills me. Don't get offended. It, uh, this doesn't kind of, like, you do a full and you twist earlier than some people know. But when you do like a super simple skill like the wrong way, it, it's it's like, why? Do a cartwheel? Okay. <laughs> some people are gonna get so offended over that, but you know what I mean. Expect people when people like imitate gymnastics in just such a weird way when like someone does like a backflip. And then immediately someone afterwards like, I'll try that. And then they imitate it. And you're like, oh my goodness, that is like nowhere even near. And it's like no effort at all. I don't know why, but it's just such a big pet peeve of mine. This final one's a little bit different, but when people stereotype what a gymnast should look like, like they always think that gymnasts are supposed to be like super short because I'll tell people I'm a gymnast and they look at me and they give me this weird look like, you're so tall, how can you be a gymnast? Or if I tell people I've only been gym doing gymnastics for a few years or like when I first started actual classes, they'll be like, you know, you're a teenager, you know. Shouldn't, you know, shouldn't most teenage gymnasts be like level eight or level nine? I just hate that people stereotype thinking all gymnasts have, a, have to look a certain way or be a certain age, you know, you, you can literally be like super short, super tall, super skinny, super large, and you could be like, there's like a 90 year old gymnast, guys. Like, no age limit to gymnastics. I hate it when people like stereotype gymnast because all the time I am told, oh my gosh, you're way too tall for gymnastics. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Please do not get offended by any of these. This is supposed to be kind of funny, but at the same time, it's supposed to be relatable. I'm not meaning to take anyone's feelings make them make them feel hurt or anything like that so don't get offended in any way this comment below if you agree with any of these or what your like worst gymnastics pet peeve is so like to apologize for not posting a youtube video last tuesday i got super busy and i actually literally got sick and then i had no time to film after that like literally no time to film and i just want to say throughout the month of july I honestly don't know if there's really going to be any YouTube videos. I have two camps to go to and I actually have like a business I'm running and it's super, super busy. Like it's, I'm so busy all the time. So honestly, I may take a break through July and kind of start back with my regular schedule in August. So I just hope that you guys can just bear with me and if you understand why there's not going to be any videos. But like I said, yeah, definitely like, comment, and subscribe and follow my Instagram. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye!